We have entered Blumenau, the Germany of Brazil. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Hi, Soraya. Hi, how are you? Good, I'm good. Uh, I'm just calling to find out uh, if you know whether the bus is will be going tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning to Curitiba? Yes. Uh, let, me let me see, let me see. Oliver and Lavinia? Yes, yes it is. It's confirmed. Tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Everything's okay to Curitiba. Thank you so much. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Have a nice trip. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. We're getting reunited with Bumblebee. Tomorrow, Woo back on the road. Bumblebee was patiently waiting for us and she is ready to go. Ready to hit the road for today. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 211 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We have made it back to Curitiba. We have been reunited with Bumblebee. Hooray! We ended up having to stay for a couple of days more in Foz de Iguazu. Everything is blocked off, no one can travel, the streets are burning, it's like really crazy stuff going on at the moment. Now the roads are all clear, so it's time for us to hit the road again. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here in Curitiba and today we are going to be taking the scenic route through the mountains, around here, through Sao Bento do Sul, in this nice little green bit here to arrive in Blumenau. Yes, we've chosen a really nice route for today. We've learned from our highway mistakes. Oh. I don't know if this is on purpose. Look at that. Wow. Now we've chosen some really nice small mountain roads to take us from Curitiba to Blumenau. We have about 170 miles today, which is about 315 kilometers. It will be really interesting to see what we can what we can find on the road and what we can see. So better hit the road, let's go. <laughs> Oh, Garmin fell off. Hold on a second. Okay. I've got it. It's not wait, full. Wait, wait, stop. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I... You won't believe it. The temperature at the moment is 15 degrees. <laughs> this is literally our coldest day on the bike for such a long time. Apparently, we are in a cold wave at the moment. It's the coldest time what they have recorded in 60 years. <laughs> We're enjoying it. This is nice. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice actually. And I'm super excited because the place where we're heading to, Blumenau, was actually settled by Germans. So <laughs> I should just feel right at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the town has a massive German heritage and is actually the home of the second largest Oktoberfest in the world. So I think that's a pretty good reason for us to go and visit. So we are out of Curitiba, back out into the countryside on quite a nice little road actually. And it's really nice to be back on the bike and making some distance south after about a week off in the end. Yes, we spent the last week at Fos de Iguazu. We had a lot of fun seeing the biggest waterfall system in the world. Oh my god, look at it here! Whoa! 
it was just mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, it was so worth it to make a trip over there. And it was our first time getting into Argentina as well. Stamped into Argentina. Woo! So that was really cool. <laughs> a to... very short trip into Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> but to listen to some Spanish already, it was really nice. Like even if it was like for one and a half days. We couldn't pass by without going to Iguazu Falls. I mean, it's Iguazu Falls. It's like mind-blowing but it feels good to be back on the bike to have bumblebee back and be reunited yeah as much as i love seeing major major attractions like that nothing beats the open road Bumblebee is thirsty! <laughs> Look at this car in front! That's a very, very nice little classic Volkswagen. Look at that! Bon dia! Bon dia! Bon dia. <laughs> Tudo bom? A gasolina comum? Comum! Obrigado! Obrigado! So the price here is 5.2 reales, which is about what, 90 pence, isn't it? 92 pence! 92 English pennies per litre. Yes. Oh, I can't believe it. Obrigado. Yeah. Obrigado. <laughs> ah, look, it's really interesting here because here we can see the remnants of the roadblocks and this is actually, this was actually a pile of tyres that were on fire. Crazy. You can see here, here was where, well, one of the many many places where protesters actually set tires on fire blocked the road with trucks and basically protested the election result i think they blocked around 300 roads that's insane 300 and that's why we were stuck in Foz de Guazú for an extra couple of days yeah pretty crazy ah uh, look here is one of those protests but they're not blocking the road, luckily, but they're showing their resistance to the current president. It's now one week since the election. And yeah, the protests and the resistance still hasn't stopped. So we're just coming into this nice little town here called Rio Negrino. We're going to look for a place stop for a nice little break it's actually a sunday today so the roads aren't that busy today not unless you're next to a church that is yeah. <laughs> lunches let's check here oh that place <laughs> looks like it's closed down yeah yeah this is definitely um not open today <laughs> No, nothing here. No, just a lot of like car lots. Look at this. It's like the town of car sales. <laughs> Look, Germania Super Masados. Uh, yes! Ah, <laughs> cool. The Germanness starts already. Oh. Here's a petrol station. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, let's stop here. Is this place here open? I don't I know. I don't know. Let's have yes. a look. 
got a coffee. So this cafe is closed. There's so many places closed today. So we had to just go to the petrol station and get a couple of Red Bulls. And uh, luckily we have a packed lunch. And what have we got for our packed lunch? Okay, you can guess. You have three guesses. <laughs> is it bread and cheese? <laughs> bread and cheese. Thank you. And as well, very naughty but very tasty, a big, big chocolate donut. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Bread and cheese is still good. I totally forgot we have some leftover beans too. Whoa, look at that. Wow, it's a feast. Salad bean wrap. What is going on here? I like salad. <laughs> Hello, little kitty. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? Lunch break is over, ready to hit the road. It's Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> this place here is so funny because it's like Christmas themed and you can see like uh, stars and like... Um... Oh wow, look at this road there. Oh wow, okay, hold on a second. Wow! Natal Encantado. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, but it is November, but uh, okay. Oh yeah, Christmas can come. <laughs> it's because Christmas is in your heart. <laughs> oh, look at this. No! Wow. Look, there's a train. Look, there's, then... there's the Christmas man. Oh, Santa Claus and some fake snow on the roof over there. Cool. What is this place? <laughs> wow. And then you have a big Christmas tree just in front. Yeah, and everything's so well done. It all looks amazing. Look at this. Wow. That's really cool. Christmas in Brazil. I want to start singing Christmas songs now. Hi. Oh, du fröhliche. Goodbye, Christmas town. Bye bye. <laughs> See you, Santa Claus. Now we've got to get onwards to the German town. <laughs> yeah, to exactly. To Blumenau. <laughs> exactly. Here you can see all around us this amazing South American pine tree. Look at this. Yeah, it looks really remarkable and very, very cool. Yeah, it's such an impressive tree, the way that it sort of grows up super tall. And then just at the top, the branches go out like a little hat on top of the tree. Like a little umbrella. Yeah, exactly. And you can just see them popping up all over the place around here. Oh, it's so, such a nice tree. Yeah, some sort of um, pine tree, but not the European one that we know of. <laughs> no, not the boring old European pine. <laughs> no, this is some cool umbrella pine. Yes, look at Nice. <laughs> Really, really interesting tree. Wow. Oh. And we're going to be turning off in a minute to a road called the SC477 because actually we were able to look online last night um, at the Michelin maps. I didn't even know they had an online map, but it's really cool because 
when you check online you can actually see the different sizes of roads so like the really big roads and then the medium roads and the really small roads so we were actually able to plan our route today using a lot more of the smaller roads because on google maps you really can't even see the difference it's just like roads 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 but uh, using the michelin maps we were able to make sure that we got some nice little windy rural scenic roads on our route today Epic road riding, just epic here. Whoa, windy bit. Whoa. <laughs> We're going down into this valley. And we got some real twisty turnies now. Oh, there's a monkey sign. I want to see some monkeys. There must be somewhere here around. Everyone watching, keep your eyes peeled for monkeys. Yeah, look, there's a monkey bridge just above us. Oh, I thought you were going to say there's monkeys. There's no. just a monkey bridge. It's a monkey bridge. Okay, it's a monkey bridge. Hmm. Where are the monkeys? <laughs> <laughs> look at this place. Yeah. And there's some music going on as well. <laughs> it's so German, hey? Wow. Okay, one. Uno. 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 Yeah. 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 Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, look at this. Some coffee, cake, coffee. some coffee. <laughs> nice. Share the cup, Yeah. <laughs> All of that just cost 10 hailing. <laughs> Oh, right. Auf Wiedersehen. Ciao, ciao.
they're both funny, hey? Oh, what a lovely party going on, hey? Yeah, All wow. The people so friendly. <laughs> yeah, <ball. laughs> Yeah, and actually someone there we met called Andrea. She's from Blumenau. So she said we should ride together. And so that's her in front, Andrea, just there. And now we've uh, got ourselves a convoy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> really cool. And Andrea speaks German. Yes, she, she speaks German as well. So actually I could speak with a couple of people over there German and it's just so nice. It's nice. <laughs> That's uh, really surprising. I knew that there was a lot of German heritage here, but the fact that they're still speaking German here is crazy. Even her grandmother's mother came um, to Brazil here. So a long, long time ago. And that hey. they could pass on the language is just uh, crazy. That was like entering Germany right there, or at least traditional Germany, with the accordion music and... <laughs> And the beer's out. Yes, yeah, it's funny. It's cool. Yeah, brilliant. We have entered Blumenau, the Germany of Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Unfortunately, at this point, my front camera ran out of battery, just as we were about to tell you the story of the city of Blumenau. So I will have to tell it to you now. The city was founded by the German chemist and pharmacist Hermann Bruno Otto Blumenau, who arrived on a boat accompanied by 17 other Germans in the 1800s. The city now has a population of over 360,000 people, and as I said before, it hosts the second largest Oktoberfest in the world. Over a million people visit every year. It's even twinned with the town of Weingarten in Germany. At the heart of the city lies Park Villa Germanica, a replica traditional German town and stage for the biggest German party in the Americas. Now it's time to say goodbye to Andrea, change my camera battery, back to you Ollie. Ciao. Ciao. So we can't actually visit this place with a motorbike it looks like. This is about as close as Bumblebee can get. Uh, and it's starting to rain a little bit as well. So we found ourselves a camping, which is only about a 10 minute walk away. Yeah. So we'll uh, take the bike over there, we'll set up our tent, and then we're gonna make our way back to explore this place. This is actually as well the place where most of the festivals are happening here in Blumenau. Festivals like uh, the Oktoberfest, the Summerfest, the Brazilian Beer Fest, the Brazilian Beer Fair, <laughs> the Brazilian Beer Contest. Oh my god, so a lot of beer related <laughs> German style festivals happening here, hey? A lot, Whoa. a lot. Yeah, and you can see that it's really designed to look like an old German town. It looks like... Somewhere in Bavaria. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks like somewhere in Bavaria, exactly. <laughs> yes, it's cool, it's cool. Yeah, they missed Germany so much that they decided to build a mini one. <laughs> Mini Germany. Right here in the center of the city. Cool. You can see here the Oktoberfest advertising with yeah. a big uh, beer crate. <laughs> yeah, we actually just missed Oktoberfest. It was yeah. probably only a couple of weeks before we arrived. Yeah. Oh man, that would have been cool. So we had a double check on the map and actually our camping is up this giant hill in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there always got to be a challenge to get to the camping? <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Whee! Up we go. <laughs> 90 degrees up the hill. What an entrance, hey? Wow. Oh. Apparently, that's it. <laughs> I will check it out here. Yeah. Camping! Camping? Here! Aqui? Okay. Okay. 
So we found our camping spot just up this hill. One more hill. We made it! Happy and alive! <laughs> <laughs> Did that one together this time. <laughs> yeah, we got Bumblebee all sort of semi packed up. We got our tent set up lovely here next to this beautiful tropical forest behind us and the view of Blumenau behind. Pretty cool location. Yeah, it's crazy to find a camp so much in the center of Blumenau. It's awesome and it's only a 10 minute walk for us to get over to back over to. Villa Germanica. So we did at the end 170 miles, which is about 250 kilometers. Yeah, it was a beautiful, amazing mountain roads, nice little villages and a German party at the end. <sighs> what more could you ask for? It was really cool to speak some Germans to some of these guys <laughs> yeah. here. It's absolutely amazing. So that's it from us today. We will head over now to Villa Germanica. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family. Comment below and we will see you next time. Capital Brasileira de Cerveja. The Brazilian capital of beer. Was möchten Sie bitte haben? <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs>